Hey guys, John Rettinger here, and we've gone in car to give you a demonstration of the Garmin NuviPhone's G60's core feature, the navigation system. So I've got the car mount here, and you can also make use of the mini USB port on the back and plug it into your car. Now, this thing has a full charge, so I'm not going to use it. You got to make sure you set the brightness to not time out as well. So it's mounted just like you'd find any other Garmin GPS, and the operating system just aligns itself when you turn it into landscape. So to start the GPS, you can do it one of two ways. You can either hit search or view map. If you hit search, you're going to be brought into a very familiar Garmin looking interface. Any of you that have a standalone Garmin GPS unit, one of the newbies, you're going to immediately recognize this. It looks just like it would on any other device. You can search by points of interest. You can set your home. You've accessed to yellow pages, address, favorites, recently found, upcoming events, movie times, gas prices, contacts if their addresses are stored, your current coordinates, or you can browse maps. So as I mentioned in my previous descriptions of the G60, there are some premium features that are offered with this. When you buy the G60 and you just buy the phone itself, you have access to the navigation functionality. No additional charge. The maps are stored locally on the device, so you don't have to worry about having a data connection. However, things like gas prices and movie times require a premium subscription to AT&T, which as of right now, I believe is about $5. So to show you an example, if you hit movie times, it's going to check for that premium subscription. So just know that if you're looking to get this and use it just as a navigator, you're not going to get some of that premium functionality, and that includes live traffic updates. So right now, checking for a premium subscription service. So it's not going to find it, so I'll just cancel out and go back. So let's go ahead and see what the navigation looks like since we are sitting here in a car. I'm going to go ahead and put in an address. So we'll search for, how about we do points of interest? You got fuel, bank, shopping, food. Let's just pick some food. We'll pick Asian food. I do love Chinese food. So here you can pick, pick a place. You can either call it right from here, since it's obviously, obviously a phone, view map, or go. We're just going to go. Calculating the route. Please drive to highlighted route. And this does have text-to-speech, so it will actually say the name of the street as you're going. So I'm going to put on my seatbelt and I'm going to start driving. And you can see what this looks like in a real-time driving environment. So it's telling me to proceed to Nullcrest Street. So I'm going to proceed to Nullcrest Street quite obviously. And you can hear what the navigation uh, sounds like and what it looks like. And again, for those of you that have used the Garmin, this is going to be extremely familiar to you. Turn left on Noel Crest. And there you go. And it's just going to keep doing that until you get to where you want to go. There isn't an audio ding that tells you when to turn. You actually have the option to set that if you'd like. I turned it off. I like the the lady to not yell at Continue me as much as possible. Miles, then turn left on Quail Hill Parkway. So you can see that the navigation system just works as would any other standalone navigation unit. Okay, so we just arrived at the location and I want to show you some of the menu uh, options that change as you're using the GPS. So I hit the back button and we go back to the home screen here. Notice that I've got new icons on the bottom. I've got stop and detour. So if you happen to back out of your GPS functionality, you are actually going to get access to some of that same navigation functionality from the home screen of the phone. And certainly the other menu options are still there as well. So this is your navigator and obviously it's your phone as well. So how does it handle accepting calls when they're coming through as you're doing your navigation? So I'm going to go ahead and have somebody call me right now and we'll see how this takes it. So it, it interrupts the navigation. You go ahead and hit answer to client. We will answer the call. Hello? Hi. So as you can see, we're um, back making our phone call and we got the option to hang up or continue the call as we like. And it goes right into speaker and the navigation continues while you're making your phone call. 
So you have the option of calling while you are navigating all via hands-free. And if you have a Bluetooth headset connected, it'll be routed right to the Bluetooth. And then the call will end when the call ends. So from a phone and a navigation standpoint, you're not going to get a better standalone um, navigator than Garmin. And that same uh, philosophy follows through to the phone. You're not going to get a better phone navigator than you're going to find with Garmin. All the other functionalities, the operating system, the OS, the email, the text messaging, you know, that's another story, and we'll discuss that during the review. But for right now, I want you guys to see how this handled uh, phone calls. Now, if you can also go through and make phone calls while you're in the navigator mode, you can just back out of navigation and go right to your phone here and make phone calls and then go back to navigation and it's gonna keep the speakerphone functionality on for you. If you have Bluetooth connected again, you can use that as well. Anyway guys, this is a John Rettinger for exclusive content. Check me out on Twitter, twitter.com slash john lakers And to learn more about Techno Buffalo, check out technobuffalo.com. Links to both will be in the sidebar. I'm off to go navigate my way home. See you guys in the next video, bye bye.